Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to more Medieval 2 Total War, playing the Britannia campaign as Norway, on very hard difficulty. Where in the last episode we took out Athenary, the fortress is now in our hands, we have plenty of great commanders with great forces lurking around the area, trying to keep it safe from the Irish scum. Now next up is going to be Lifford, which is going to be Ireland's last settlement. So we're getting close now, but they have a lot of forces on the field, so we'll have to try to navigate around those. Now Derry is also open for the taking, but I think I'll just... I'll save that for now. There's no need to wage a war with England just yet. That will come in due time. Now, let's turn our attention over to the other side of the land, where we currently have some extra Huskarls coming over, because right now we are at war with Wales. That's something. And they have a lot of forces situated near Lancaster here, but since they have such a big territory, it looks like these bordering areas are not necessarily protected as much as they might want. So we might be able to do something fun. So let's just move around a little with our assassin. Have a little look. What's down here? So this is where the border for York goes, there's nothing here. Okay, so what we might want to do now that the Baron's Alliance is crushed is that we might actually want to go and take York. It's a really important city, and it's basically undefended, so here's what we're gonna do. We're probably... should we go by boat? Yeah, let's, let's go by boat. Let's do that. Uh, I can't combine the fleets. Okay, well that's... that's okay. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna take everybody, move everybody out. Yes. Then we gotta figure out who really has to stay. So if I move in the town militia, that's all well and good. And then I move in... Uh, Håkon or Lars. I mean, I want Håk uh, Lars on the battlefield. Håkon, keep the city under control, will ya? Good. And now, we'll move Lars onto the boat as soon as we can. Boop. Uh, you know, these two Huskarls, they can probably stay behind. Now, we do have, still have Perkin on the loose, but I feel like he won't be a huge issue. So right now, I want to focus on other things. We also have some forces that are now coming out of Carlisle. And we are going to take them and start moving up as well. Boop, boop. Now, this is not an impressive force right here, but... Perhaps we won't need such an impressive force. We have some more Vikings coming over, and as soon as we've dealt with Perkin somewhere or another, we can start moving on down to take what Wales has. They started this war, plunged our country into chaos, and now we Sire. must put them down. Our spy won't pr won't need to stand around here anymore. We can move him up to areas like this. There we go. We'll keep him there. Then I think that's most of the things we can actually do this round. It's been a long round with many important things that have been taking place. We're currently making some barren stables, which is good because it'll eventually make us capable of recruiting mounted crossbowmen. We can get our own horse boys, and that's gonna be freaking sweet. Now, I should most likely start some construction here and there. They're not 100% happy in Vikingheim. Let's get some more spare militia for them, and let's start building some different structures that will help with the economy. You gotta focus on the economy as well. There we already are building something. It's good to be able to spend some of this cash. I don't think really Ireland spent a lot, they just sort of accumulated great wealth, but didn't really do anything with it. Then even refused peace at a high price. Ah, <sighs> those people. Those people. Well, I think that... I think that... Ooh, we can get a warehouse! That's amazing, that's gonna... Make us capable of trading more over the seas. Which is probably all they ever do up in Kirkwall. Boom! Let's see what they wanna do. They're occupying some of the forts here. It looks like this smaller force is thinking of joining up with Prince Griffin. I'm unsure where the new Irish King is. Oh, oh, there are some tensions out there. Now let's, now she does not have an offer for me. As you can see, they're all moving south. Oh, well. Okay, now we need more forces. 
I was hoping he was gonna go south. We want to make sure we have a strong army here. Oh yeah, they really are moving. Uh, ooh, okay. They're coming towards me. That means I have to rethink a little. Cause I need str I need stronger forces first and foremost. A swordsmith skills. Naturally, as the demand for increasingly stronger weapons continues to grow, the number of men working to master the art of metal metallurgy and weaponsmithing grow too. In time, large enough to form a swordsmith skills. So, this makes it so that whenever you make troops in Castletown, they get like plus one to attack, which is great. Take York. Oh, you read my mind, baby. An honor to serve. You did indeed. Leaving so what we're gonna do? Uh oh. Why are you addressing me? Uh oh. Lars is on the sea, and he cannot fight alone. Okay, England. Buddy, good old England. Don't we all love England? Of course we do. Can I upgrade Holder's Landing? Ah, to a huge city. It's wonderful. Okay, that's scary. I should have been more careful with my traveling across the water. That much is very clear. Okay, yeah, we, we need to start building a greater army that can come fight over here because we need to start preparing for the battle against Wales. So that will happen fairly shortly. All right, more troops, more Captain, troops. My lord. Forward. What's, what do we construct now? Who's Carls? More who's Carls. Yes, lord. Okay, so John Fallingborg is now in a pretty bad spot. I'm gonna move him back to Carlisle. March. We're much safer there in the city. Because with Captain Trehearn over here, me, he has these Helvir. They appear to be Hmm, not not the strongest archers. Pretty run of the mill, but they're they're something. So what we really want to do is that ugh, I w I wanted to move on Wales, but I think it's better if I actually wait. I think I have to wait. So until that time comes, I should probably recruit some more militia troops up here, yes. and maybe move oh, these like troops Bulldog. over to Newcastle. Forward. Spread the goods a little bit, so to say. And we'll try to supply us with enough forces from Castletown. Now, eventually, we're going to get our main forces off of Ireland once that has been secured to fight Wales. But for now, we might actually have to withstand some attacks from Wales until the situation becomes under control. And speaking of control, that's what our diplomat is for. Let's talk this with them. Best be worth our time. They don't feel like a ceasefire. Interesting. What do you feel about trading map information? No, we cannot agree to this now. No. <laughs> what? What? Okay, so I was like, yo, you want to trade map for map? Just, just so I can make sure that I know exactly where they are on the map in case they've taken something from the English. They're like, no, 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 you give me map information or I'll kick your ass. I'm like, screw you. Very well, it was just a suggestion. It was not just a suggestion! You were threatening my life! <laughs> Good day to you. Good day indeed, sir! Good day indeed! At once. Oh my, I can't. I can't handle these guys. They're awful. Yes. They're awful people and I hate them. Think quietly. Now we can probably move, uh, let's keep him over here so we can have an overview of things. Alright, I'm just sort of moving my assassin about just to make sure that, because there's no way I'm killing these guys. There are no real forces down here and lots of English forts to take. I would love to take some of these forts. And then we have another spy here who's keeping an eye on things. Now, a lot of these settlements are poorly defended. These guys have all of their forces in the field. Uh, and we could potentially take advantage of that. We could get York rather easily if Rodri is off somewhere else. Now, uh, Perkin. I, will take your lands, then your lives. I want to fight Perkin, and I think I will actually. John, let's take John onto the battlefields. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna move him up right here. And then I'm gonna take all of the forces out and give him a militia army. Now, a militia army is not the best army. He also has town militia, but he does have 
the heavy armor crazy dudes with axes. They're gonna be a bit scary, I must admit. Now we do outnumber him. Ooh. All right, John Fallingborg, you're the son of the prince. It's a pretty even battle. Let's do this. Nope. Give me something good. Give me some good weather. There we go. Now, the terrain's not really on my side. Well, I suppose it could be worse. We have a little bit of elevation here, so that should us make us capable of positioning our crossbowmen up here. And they should get some good shots off here and hopefully do well. Though I do really like to just have them behind my men because I feel like that way I take much less casualties. Much fewer casualties? Yeah, I think that's more grammatically correct. So we'll take our troops here, group them up, make them moldable. And I think we just gotta rush them, just straight blob versus blob and win in sheer numbers on the power. And also the extra advantage from having a few archers in the back. And also John will have to do some pretty cool stuff out here. He's just 19, he's just a kid, so... He's just a kid. Oh... They have the hill. I, I'm not gonna be charging up hill to fight these guys. That's not a good idea. I'm gonna let them come to me because they have no form of range whatsoever. So they are really dependent on this right here. Oh, look at this. The rebel generals look so badass. You don't often see them because there's not a lot of them that exist. But when you see them, oh boy. Reminds me of when we fought William Wallace. I was a bit saddened that he didn't have his usual design. But such is, such is the way of things. Here he is, here's Perkin. Guy who's caused us some real issues. <sighs> How do you want to take him out? It's gonna be a very even battle between John and Perkin. I think we're gonna let them come a little bit closer. Should we let them charge us? I have fire at will enabled, so these men are going to start firing any second now. Alright. Let's enable guard mode here. Let's move John over to the side a little to see if we can do something fun with him. Now, Spearmen and Tom Militia are not the bravest souls. They have a tendency to break very easily, so we want to make sure that they feel good. Oh, the crossbow minister already. They're firing. <laughs> Wonderful. Always good to pick off a few men before the battle begins. Oh, that made them run. They're coming in. They're coming in strong. Alright, so we're gonna move John around the side here. Here they come! Brace for impact! Brace! Oh, man. Oh, Perkins right on the front lines. And there they go. Crashing into the shields. Alright. John has made it behind them. John has made it behind them. Oh, boy. Some of my men are really shaking right now. Oh, come on, you got this. You got this, boys, you outnumber them. Right, John crashed straight into some time militia here in the back and is uh, making quick work of them. Come on, you got this. Now Perkin's still around, so I wanna always keep one eye on Perkin to make sure he's not doing anything shady. Uh, let's fire some over here. Okay, so now I'm chasing down some of these time militia men. Which is good. Let's help break them. Let's not focus on Perkin for now, and let's just break these, uh... There we go. We broke them. Whew, okay. Now this won't be... Oh, looks like Perkin's coming for me. Alright, oh, we gotta pull back. We gotta pull back now. Perkin's going for John. Alright, I'm going to go through my own men. Cause a little bit of chaos in my own ranks, but that's okay. Whew. He's lost about 12 bodyguards so far. And Perkins only lost two because I decided to be a bit more liberal with the use of John. Which I don't regret. No, go over here. Just don't don't get involved in the combat. Now over on this side, this is where they're fighting the heavy infantry. So let's bring some arrows down on them. Now we do have some infantry here that are not necessarily doing anything very important at the moment. So I'm going to take some of these troops, but we need to be ready over here because they are coming back. So I can't give them any good openings here. 
All right, let's just stand our ground. Our Let them run into us. We're slowly like winning. All right. Charge a little bit in here from their rear, or from their side rather. Side slash rear. Just keep an eye on John. I also hope that my my arrows don't uh, damage my own men here. So I really want to break these heavy infantry men because they are the scariest part of this battle right now. Per oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Perkins really going to town on my some of my men. But we won't, we won't let him win. We're doing well. We're doing well. John's a bit in the back. That's good to see. That's good to see. Some of these arrows are probably causing friendly casualties, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Look at that. They keep charging. All right, everybody, charge Perkin now. Oh, look at that. He is causing some major damage to my men. All right. Let's try to surround him with spears and stab, 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 stab. They have some men in the back that are just sort of running around like chickens with their head cut off. All right. John's doing fairly well, actually. But he is starting to lose a lot of men, and there is friendly fire going on, so I'm going to move him out. There we go. I think I got him out just in time. He's still mostly fine, but he's lost a lot of his men, which makes him uh, considerably weaker. Yeah, let's let's yeah keep keep focusing fire on the on the heavy infantry. That's that's good. Just keep doing your thing. You're doing so well. All right, we gotta we gotta we gotta destroy this guy. Come on, let's let's try to encap. Oh, they have Tamilish on this side too, actually. No. No, 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 right into battle, John. Blow your horn. Blow your horn. Make them come back. Okay. Now we come on, we really gotta Oh gosh, we gotta crush these we gotta crush these guys. Come on. John, you cannot let your first battle on the battlefield be a failure. Perhaps I should have taken some men and tried to move them around, but I was scared that if I moved them around, then Perkin would just charge them up the rear, because Perkin seemed to be a huge fan of charging. So this Tamilisha decided that he wanted to come back and fight, which is good. We'll send him into a blob with others so he doesn't feel so alone. John is right here fighting with you. Now, I feel like I should enable skirmish mode for my crossbowmen so they can try to get away from Perkin, because right now Perkin is causing some real havoc among my own troops. He's being a real nuisance. I'm going to charge with John because all of my men are busy fighting somebody. There's no extra men, so John has to do it. There we go. Charge forth! Now John has very few men left. Oh! Don't flee! Alright, John has taken some damage. This is bad. Oh, I got I gotta pull him out. He's lost everybody. John has lost everybody. I can't lose him too. Come back and fight! Come on! Right, we gotta just just go for him. Come on! No, don't do do not flee! Your general is with you. John is at your side. Perkin, Perkin, you bastard! You bloody devil! Come on! We we have not lost this battle. Come on! I am here! I'm blowing! I'm blowing! I'm blowing so hard! Oh, come on! Oh, there we go! Perkin barely has any men left. I'm right here, guys! I'm, r I'm at your side! Oh my gosh, okay. What's, what's going on on the battlefield right now? A lot of these men are broken. Who's not broken? We gotta go for a Perkin right here. We gotta take out Perkin and we gotta take him out right now. There we go. If we can get Perkin, we can win this. It got way closer than I wanted it to. There we go! There we go! Yes! Crush him! Crush him! Do not let him- Oh, he, he, he's getting away. No way. No way. We're catching him now. That was, uh... That was a shame. I really hope we broke his army, though. But I don't think we did. Oh, well. That was, um... That was a close battle. Our men started routing. We lost a lot of John's uh, bodyguards. Oh man, not good, not good at all. But oh. there are probably ways I could have done that differently. But I figured when I saw them on the hill, I figured well I should let them come to me. Now they did have that heavy infantry, which caused some more issues. They also had Perkin 
who was quite aggressive when it came to charging in. He did quite well, actually. And then John, well, he was in some good battles, but eventually he was too weak to really make any real impact. Now, I think, are you guys actually capturing people? I don't, I don't think they are. I think most of them are out of range by now. All civilized peoples <sighs> will be awed by the victory we... I don't think that's the last we'll see of Perkin, but we'll see. Ah, oh, thankfully, Perkin. Perkin is gone. He won't come back to fight. The enemy lies defeated. Good job, John. We are victors. Oh my, gosh. my lord. He has like one extra guy with him. John's a promising commander, and he's now a sword bearer as well. <sighs> yes. All right. Now I think we'll move you back to Carlisle. But at least now the uh, the land's a little more safe, and I won't have to worry about that. And we can now take forces out of the fort, which we have done, which is good. And now what we should be able to do is move down even more forces that we won't be needing in these territories. And we'll just keep the bare minimum necessary to keep order. This is good. So now we should... There we go. We'll keep, like, two forces in each town. Because there's an extremely small chance of these cities ever being attacked. We'll just keep enough to keep peace. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. John took him out. And we should be happy about things. Well, probably not, because... Carlisle could come under attack next turn. But how, how are the troops? Uh, they're, they're okay. I would have liked to see less militia, but such is the way of things. We'll make do with it. Now, we still can't move anything on this front, and I think we've exhausted our current possibilities. So let's turn our attention back to Ireland, where we can once again move and do as we please. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Eamond up here, build a fort. There we go, now we should be able to have a great overview. And we're gonna move him down this way, through the forest. Wonderful. Now this fort here, oh my. This is gonna be interesting to take, it's gonna be a real cluster truck in there, because... A fort's very small, they're gonna... No, oh, I don't even know how this is gonna work out. Haldor has a huge army, though, so... Let's first deal with Captain Lauren. He should try to flee, I think. And he does. Now, who do we pursue? Let's pursue taking this fort here. Well, if they can only last three turns, I might not have to attack. I might try to starve them out. Now, I'll also stand by right next to Haldor, just to, like, give him support. Yes. Now, what we will do is... I will mix up some troops. Boop. My Lord. Then we'll move everybody out of Athenry, and Ulrich will stay behind. Will make them fear you. Together with some obeyed. of the more depleted troops. Yes. The I, I, Lord. I made Irish currents, are you happy? <laughs> Those little... Uh, Alright, well, I think Athenry should be fairly fine. And then I can actually combine the king with Gelir. And there we go, two mighty forces again. Leaving Athenry not very well defended, I'll be honest. But it's something. You can hire some peasants to keep the place safe. I'll get some peasant archers, actually. Ah, peasant archers. I mean, peasant archers aren't the worst. They do definitely have their use. Okay. What do we want to do today? As all we shall they don't want ceasefire now? Why? Huh. Oh well. well that was uneventful. I asked. Question, you said no. It's still open for the taking. What is even going on? Don't Whose tempt me. Alright, time to kill another princess. And there was the moan of death. Who is my target? And let's go for the next one. On <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Okay. 
Now, we are actually have two spies right next to each other here, which I don't know if is what we want. Now, I think we have more spies than we need, because we can already see everything on the map now. So, we can probably send some of them away. But that's, that's a luxury problem, you know? Alright, so, whales, you gonna just stand around? They have nowhere to go, that's the problem right now, but I hope that they're just going to be chilling right there. Taking it easy. That's my hope at the very least. Oh my, we don't, we don't have any more cash right now. Okay, so Hulder is going to starve out this fort, if possible. And King Magnus will actually be able to assault Captain Lauren in the fields. Actually, he won't. He stops, like, one step away from him. That's a shame. Eamon's gonna go back to Athenry to help keep order. I can actually send this spare militia right up to Athenry, because Tipperary is feeling happier these days, which is wonderful. Happiness and prosperity across the land. And... Is that it? We want to prepare to move on Lifford. We want to then take Derry and initiate a war with England, claiming all of the forts in the area, including over here, which is going to help solidify our position. And we really... The most dangerous element right now to this campaign is Wales, I feel. So we don't have that many forces over on this side. Unfortunately. I'm going to take these Huskarls. And see if I can maybe... I want to retrain these guys. But if I want to retrain them... Move out. I'm gonna have to get them on a ship and send them back to Castletown, because... Two of them won't do much. They have some combat experience. Maybe they'll... Maybe they'll be useful. There are no allies anymore. It's just everybody's fighting everybody, right? Pretty much. I mean, Ireland's not fighting Wales, but... I'm fighting Wales and Ireland, England's fighting Wales and Ireland. The only ones not fighting is me and England, and Ireland and Wales. And I will fight England soon enough, and Ireland, they won't live long enough to fight Wales. I think we can actually conclude the turn here, because I don't think I'm doing anything that's worth any attention. Now, we might want to take... I know we have a lot of troops here that are just sort of standing by, not doing anything. But these troops are actually going to be part of the force that will assault the fort over here. So it's good that they're just standing by. And this fort, this force needs to be here to help defend here. And we got to keep Holder's Landing safe with plenty of militiamen, so... Ba-boom! Alright. I wonder if Ireland's trying to bribe that town right now. That would probably have been really easy. But again, I don't want to go up and take that town because it's surrounded by enemy forces and I wouldn't be able to send a huge army to take it and then hold it. Actually, I probably could if they're going to keep it open for three turns in a row, but eh, it's okay. We'll get that town. I don't want to make a, a bad move. Okay. Now, they have the opportunity to march on Carlisle. They're not going quite that far. But Wales is definitely eager to invade me. Was that two English fleets blockading my ports? Why are you attacking me, England? I mean, aren't you really busy with... <sighs> this means... England and Wales are allies? Wait. No, they've turned against me. I'm now at war with every faction. Well, oh, look at this. If Wales and England fights together, look at all of the territory and power they possess. Now, they join together can actually provide a decent challenge for me. Which, uh, which sounds nice right about now. I've been needing a little bit of a challenge. Oh, uh, these guys. These guys. Okay. Boop. Yes. There we go. Carlisle is now stocked, yes. stocked full with men. Well then, if that's how it's gonna be, I'm gonna have myself some forts. English fort takeover. This is gonna be great fun. Finally, I can get these forts. I've been wanting them for so long. Oh, if oh they declared war on me, Admiral Toby could have legitimately sunk Lars on the sea. That was that was dangerous. Look at this man. He's so loyal and so beautiful. Okay, we can take York, right? 
We should be able to march on York, because they have decided to move over here, so he is at least three turns away, more or less. So I can rush through the woods and get York quickly. England hates me. Sucker chodes. We have new forces all around the land. Crop rotation and wick. Fascinating. Okay. I see how we want to play this game. And we're gonna take these troops. Get this fort! Wonderful. <laughs> okay, are there more English forts we want? Yes, we want the fort that, that's down the road here. I'm kind of happy now. I'll send him out to take it and send him on back. Yes. Anything else? Well, we do have the fort here. Now here we have this man, Mr. Pegler. He has some spare militia. Peasants? Hobbilars, peasant archers, Irish kerns? Seems like a rather poor fort. They have a lot of men though, but what I'm thinking is that if we have a strong enough force... Okay. Thorgar can keep that place happy, so I'm going to march on it and besiege it, and see if I can starve them out for three turns. If not, I'll retreat to New Oslo, but there's a possibility I will be able to starve them out on that front. No, England. You've made me mad now, but I'm also really glad for the opportunity to at long last get their forts. Look at this. Ah, no more English forts in our lands. That pleases me greatly. It really does. So what we need to consider right now is how to deal with Captain Traheron. Now, we have plenty of men in Carlisle, which is good. Newcastle is also fairly well defended, which is wonderful. We're also sending down more men wherever possible. Now let's get these Huskarls back on the boat and drop them off here. As you can see, you see the little sword icon down here? This is because of the Swordsmith's Guild. Our new troops will now have plus one attack. You know, plus the armor that we get from our current armorer. It's wonderful. So we're gonna get some... We're just, we just need more troops. We have the finances to support an even bigger army, and as long as, as long as we can support a big army, I'm down. Your will shall be obeyed. Now then, Captain Lauren, I'd really like you to move your face out of my face. Leave your mercy behind, Bam. We shall show them none. How do you feel about that? He's retreating. Less than death. Captain Lauren, horse boys, lots of cavalry here. I have a pretty. Uh, well, my army could be stronger, but I feel it is strong enough for this. We'll come at them in the night, and we will crush them upon the battlefield. Quah! What a beautiful night we have here. <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. Let's line up everybody. Who knows how to use a bow. <laughs> now, here are the beautiful Irish kerns that somebody really wanted to see in combat. Uh, I don't I don't think you'll be incredibly impressed, but you know. Ooh, we actually have the the hill the uh, the advantage of the with the terrain here. That's good. So I don't know if they're really going to be coming my way. Let's have our general's bodyguards. Chill over here. Now we have a lot of different things that we can use on them. Which we might want to do. A lot of fun artillery stuff. The Irish Kerns can get like a special responsibility. To protect these forces. <laughs> That'll be their job. Now we also do have the Rebalts. We know that the Rebalt can be a lot of fun if used correctly. I wonder how this uh, th how this whole debacle is going to go. Because, I mean, if the horse boys start pestering me on this front, I'm gonna struggle a little. So let's let's just start this battle and see how it goes. Let's have some fun. Oh, they've uh, d had some... they have an interesting form of deployment here. On this front, they got them horse boys! Understandably. Now, they also have some different artillery. So I think the first thing I want to do... Let's focus my artillery fire on their artillery. And move out the... Revolt. Are they gonna go for me? Looks like they're standing in place and waiting. Alright. 
If you say so. Let's... Move up our forces a little bit. We'll still have the advantage of having the upper hill. So that's good. And now we gotta have the Kerns. The Kerns gotta protect my uh, my beautiful artillery. Look at these beautiful men. Hmm. No. They're not supposed to have the flag of Norway. It feels wrong. It feels wrong, okay? I'll move my cavalry over to the woods. Let's see how this goes. The bombard is actually in position right now. The catapults have to... Oh, this is kind of scary. I just hope my bombards won't hit my own catapults. That would kind of suck. Alright, let's see how this goes. Where are my catapults going? Why so... Oh! Getting some wonderful shots there. Alright, that ought to... That ought to spook them. The catapults are here. Is it that hard to hit? Are you not a catapult supposed to be used at a distance? I can't. I just can't. Okay. Revolt. Get ready. Oh. Oh, uh, just misses all over the place. I think maybe we got a few guys. Now we're just moving up on them here. Preparing for battle. Oh, come on, you're so close. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, I think the Revolt is in action. Oh yeah, the Revolt is actually firing right now. Oh! Look at that! When it's placed on a hill, it actually has an incredible uh, amount of, uh, like, arcing uh, and trajectory. Oh, that's wonderful, actually. All right, our men are now rushing down the hill to uh, to meet these bad boys. And now, as you can see, the horse boys are getting ready to attack us on this front. So we'll see who wins when I charge forth to meet them. Go, go! Now, where's the revolt? My revolt's currently not operational. Why is that? Go chase, chase away some archers, will ya? All right, and these Irish currents have to get up here so they can... Uh, Protect my catapults. Oh! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, this went very well. I just sort of sent my men down the hill. I was just like, just go get them. And we had we had the advantage of the terrain. We set up. Uh... Look at this. This thing just wrecks people. Oh, it's so wonderful. Oh, oh, shisa! Now we're firing at our own men. Yeah, let's um, let's pull back that artillery for now. The revolt we can keep using though, because I love it. As you can see, we're now shooting our own Irish currents in the back with the revolt. You know what? Get away, revolt! <laughs> all right, all right, guys. You wanted to see the Irish currents? I'll show you the Irish currents. Going up against horse boys, which is a terrible idea. Alright, I gotta deal with these horse boys over here. I'm gonna send my archers after them. That's really one of the best ways I can deal with them, because my cavalry is busy elsewhere. Char chasing these horse boys off the fields. But once these horse boys have sufficiently left the battlefields, I'll be able to send them over to deal with the other horse boys that might be trying to bother me. Alright. You two gather, come on. Everybody. This went well. It was a bit of a, uh, a bit of an interesting battle. Send everybody down the hill and attack, and the battle played out nicely. Now let's not skirmish. Actually, let's just stand our ground here, just so we can get some shots off. I think we're gonna be taking some damage from these horse boys. And I told you to come and charge over here. Where are you? So we're chasing off some of these other uh, troops here in the in that area. We're currently crushing a catapult on this front. But everybody's doing something. That's important. Because these horse boys have really, really bad morale. So they're able to terrorize me a little bit right now, but... There we go, look at that. Wonderful. They have a whole firing squad just peltering them. Oh, that is that is beautiful to see. This is the downfall of Ireland, guys and girls. 
This is the downfall of Ireland. When we came, they were a prosperous and strong nation. Weren't they the strongest military? I believe they were for a while. But times change, you know? Yeah, go go chase away some more horse boys over there. These Irish currents don't really get to prove themselves, so I'm sorry. It's, they're just chasing these guys endlessly, but maybe they can chase them off the battlefield and do something fun. That would be something. Now, what should my archers even do here? What should they do? Chase off these archers. Now I'm unsure what anybody should do. There are just a few people left here at, at all, so... Why are you not chasing them? Just keep chasing. There we go. Now they're broken, and they are gone. Wonderful. Then we focus on the next group. Three catapult guys. For, oh, who's this? Horse boys! They got horse boys hiding in the woods here. Now these Irish currents. I think the Irish currents actually managed to chase the guys off the battlefields. They did that, right? Yeah, and there we go. Oh, come on, come on. You got this. You got them! There we go. Totally captured some of the horse boys there. Now let's go get those archers. Those horse boys are probably running off the battlefield for good now. I hope. I swear if they turn back and fight even more. Okay. Good stuff, everybody. Our That's most of them taken care of. Like this, we will smash the enemy. There are some uh, battles going on in the woods, I think. Where's the general? The general should be right over... He is probably among the horse boys, I think. I'm not sure. But these guys are going off, off the battlefields. They won't return to fight. So just keep chasing them down. Oh. <gasps> Wonderful. Chop them down. I swear if you let them escape, I'll be most disappointed with you guys. There's like one dude. Huh? He's right there. Get him. <laughs> Just need a Benny Hill theme right now. And there we go. At long last, everybody converge on the catapult man. Gotcha. There's like one poor guy left. Alright, I'm gonna chase him down with, uh, with my men here and give him a good old crushing. Looks like Geller wants to kill for this one. Oh! Actually, it looks like he won't, he won't even get the kill. Oh! He's like, no! Run away! How does it feel? How does it feel? Somebody chop him in the back of the head already. Thank you. It's Goodbye. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Indeed. Now, that was a clear victory. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. A lot of people got away though. It was a very messy battle. They were, they were all over the place. But we got we had some cool shots mixed in and we're gonna kill them all. Have them run away. So now King Magnus the Malevolent will continue his rampage as we march on. Why did you choose that road? I kinda wanted to take the other road, but. Mm. Yes. If you insist, I suppose. Looks like they haven't sallied out at Haldor, which is very good indeed. So we're going to just keep up the pressure and see if we can starve them out. It would be a more beneficial way to do it. Now we just need to keep moving up here. And we should get them in no time. Snorri just needs to keep Haldor's landing safe. Inge needs to keep Dublin safe. And I'm sure... They probably, England and Wales probably realized how dire their situation was. To serve, my lord. And they realized they had to do something. My lord. Something lord drastic. Now, I don't know if I want to sally out and attack these guys. I have a lot of archers. I think I'm going to wait for now. and see what they do. I have a very strong army here. So I don't think I have to fear them at the moment. So I'll just... Uh, I'll just wait and see and just react to what they do. Because right now, Lars is moving down to York. So if they just dilly-daddle around here, that gives me the chance to occupy one of their cities. And I'm sure they won't be too happy about that. Mm. My lord, 
And as you can see, over time, we need less and less troops to actually keep these places happy. Which is excellent, because that means we can then send those out. Now, we do have a ship here that I probably won't need anymore. So I'll just get it together with another ship. This fleet as well. Let's start combining some of our fleets here. So I won't need them spread out all over the place. Now, they are blockading one of my ports, which I don't like, but... I can't really do anything about it, because really, I'm sort of struggling a bit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go up to the docks of Perth, and this is where we are going to get Gun Hulks. Now, compared to Dragon Boats, these are just straight up upgrades. So, well, let's get three of those and then sail down and see if we can't battle the English on the sea. That would be most, most excellent. Sterling can't build anything. <gasps> Such a lame town. Well, guys and girls, I think that's pretty much all we can do this turn. So I think maybe we should also conclude the episode right here. And in the next one, we're getting very, very close to Lifford and Ireland's destruction. And England have triggered me rather hard so we're going to strike back at them and all of these isles will be mine then we can sail back all of our forces and focus our full attention on taking the wales and england combo sandwich but that will happen in the future have a still good day take care and stay awesome but most importantly everybody stay dark goodbye